Hey guys, what's up? It's Patricia from Tarantula Heaven, and today I want to talk about um, how to test your spider's temperament. This came up on my Tumblr blog, and I think that it's something that all beginners need to know starting out. So um, when we talk about temperament, as far as tarantulas, um, of course they can't tell us how they feel, so we have to kind of um, test out their body language and be aware of the signs. So um, first, the thing that you want to do is you want to educate yourself on sort of defense behaviors like, for example, um, flicking hairs and um, giving you a defense pose, which is when um, they put both of their walking legs up and kind of expose their fangs to you. That means that they're probably going to bite soon. So being aware of those things, this is, these are the two things that you really want to look for when you are testing your tarantula's temperament because that means that um, those are signs that they will probably... Um, you know, attack because they're either feeling threatened um, or scared. So those are the two things you really want to be aware of, and I'll talk about a few other things um, a little bit later. But um, basically, you want to know your tarantula's temperament for a lot of different things. For example, if you are ever thinking about handling your tarantula, if you are going to clean its tank or rehouse or even just change their water, you kind of want to be aware of how your tarantula is responding to any movement within the tank. Tarantulas are really nervous and they're shy creatures generally um, and if they do happen to react aggressively it's just because they're defending themselves. So you want to make sure that your tarantula, if you do plan on doing anything in their tank or bothering them, that they are in the mood for it and not um, prone to kind of being more defensive. Um, so that's to protect both you and your tarantula so that nobody gets hurt. So it's really important for beginners to know. Um, the most important thing with hand, uh, testing temperament and handling or anything is that you never want to start doing this by using your fingers. Mm -hmm. Never use your fingers to test um, your tarantula's temperament. What you want to do, and this is the way to do it safely, and this is most used throughout the hobby, is that you want to either get um, a paintbrush, a pencil, or like a long tong or tweezers, anything that's a little bit longer. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just kind of going to nudge your tarantula's um, like very lightly, you don't need to um, move them or anything, just give them a little gentle nudge and see how they respond. Um, your tarantula, if it's not in the mood to um, be messed with or bothered, it's going to probably try to attack the paintbrush or pencil or whatever you're using. Um, so that's a sign that it wants to be left alone. A more docile tarantula or a tarantula who's not feeling particularly defensive in the moment will probably maybe not move at all. Um, I know that my spidey sometimes does that. Um, or they'll just like um, maybe just like put their legs in a little bit more. That can be a sign that they're feeling a little bit scared or shy. Or um, another thing is that they might just kind of like walk away a little bit. Um, those three signs are signs that it's kind of safe to proceed. Um, I, if you are thinking about handling them, I wouldn't um, push them if they're feeling scared. But um, definitely if they're responding in an aggressive way, you want to leave them alone. Never force any sort of... Um, handling or activity with your tarantula if they are feeling like that because it's not nice to do to them and you will probably regret it because you're probably going to get bitten. So um, those are some safe ways to test your tarantula's temperament. It's really important to know this in the beginning. Um, I know that when I first started out I did, I did this and it really helped me to get comfortable with Spidey's reactions and seeing how she how much she could kind of handle as far as um, being bothered which I turn out it's not very much because tarantulas really don't like to be bothered too much but um, it's very very useful to kind of get those behavioral cues down and it's just very good practice as far as safety so I hope that that helps you guys um, especially those of you who are just starting out in the hobby and um, I'm really loving these suggestions that are coming out of T Spidey's Tumblr and also from YouTube because I'm getting a lot of really cool ideas for other videos and other information that you guys need. So I want to say thank you for that. And um, be sure to please either subscribe or thumbs up or comment if you like this. And um, I will see you soon.